them? Wow, so many. Just a few stations and so many working. Are you sure you're working group or eating group? <laughs> Both. Wow. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you do? Distribute the flyers, that's easy. <laughs> Children can do it. And you call that working group? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, never mind, never mind. So how are you doing today? Feel okay? <laughs> you need some more food? <laughs> I see that it's prepared for you. And then that's it, just distributing flowers? <laughs> Nothing else? Huh? Initiate team? Reception? Wow, what else? Huh? Go. Translation. Wow, that's, that's good, that's good. A convenient method to do what? Screen them. Ah, not bad. That sounds like working a little. <laughs> what else? Huh? Security. Yeah, that's just the job you love the most. <laughs> yeah. Hanging around, see me the first sight and bossing people. That sounds a good job to me. Huh? Yeah, if, if you do the garden job, you better do a little smiling, okay? Don't scare people. You scare people and scare me too. Yes, like the guard on the gate there, yeah? yeah? <laughs> they are the first one ever to see me, any time. <laughs> and I was smiling, I hope he smiled back, but he still... <laughs> Next time I put a robot there. <laughs> The forever smiling robot <laughs> look bad. Because he, this one looks like robot anyhow, but he doesn't smile. <laughs> I fired one this morning. You be careful, you guards. <laughs> Guard yourself first. You don't have to be an unfriendly guard, you know? Anything you do, be friendly, all right? But well, you are famous for that. Everybody told me that you're such a friendly group and warm and so welcome group, except when I see you, I, I don't see any of this sight. <laughs> Are you frozen or freezing or what <laughs> when you see me? What happened? Just tell me what happened inside your chemical <laughs> stuff inside. What, what happened? Huh? And some of you, when, when you talk to me, you, 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 you c c c cannot even <laughs> talk, talk, talk properly. I, I want to know why. why, why. <laughs> I mean, We're huh? We're awestruck. <laughs> I, do I look awesome to you? <laughs> I'm a very pretty woman. <laughs> okay. There's nothing to fear, I, because when you're nervous, you, you make me feel scared too. <laughs> I wonder what did I do wrong, or maybe I put makeup in the wrong place or something. <laughs> or with my mascara, I was ruined. <laughs> or let, let you feel <laughs> wondering or something. Just keep your cool, okay? You are a yogi, my God! <laughs> what kind of yogi is that? <laughs> <sighs> if you don't like me so much, then don't come. Hmm? Don't come see me. You still do? Still like me or not? Yeah, I guess you do. <laughs> okay, this matter in spiritual or, or worldly wor uh, work, smile is always the key to success. Yeah? When you smile, you convince yourself also that you're happy. <laughs> Yes. Most of the time you see me smile, right? It's a natural, it's my nat nature. I, I also don't even know that I'm smiling. <laughs> 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 
But uh, what I mean is, uh, uh, does it make you feel good when I smile a lot? Yes. yes, it does, right? Okay, same, same, yeah? You don't know how many times, you know, I have just dealt with some very difficult situations, some uh, big, big, big ego and uh, some very painful <laughs> issue. I mean, for the physical body and for the mind, not, not for my true self, of course. But I still have to use this, you know, uh, this complaining device or device, or you call it how? Device, yes, <laughs> device. And then and, and still have to deal with this physical body. So, you know, sometimes it can be painful, uh, like you, yeah, when you deal with somebody who is difficult or egocentric, whatever. Yeah, sometimes I had to deal with all that, but then when I come out, see you, I don't put it on you, see? So you don't, you never know when I smile, but behind that or before that, I, I was in, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> like a turmoil or something. I was in trouble, in, in disturbance, yeah. So you try to do that. And then after I smile with you for a while, I, I forgot all about it, yeah? And because you, you see me smiling, you think I'm happy, so, so I'm also happy. Yeah, I also think I'm happy. <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs> you know that joke already? No, not yet, huh? Oh, they they, they published that joke already? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you know later. <laughs> All right, anyhow, <laughs> this is a residential joke. I didn't know you understand that. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> later, later. Probably you know. So try to be more pleasant, okay? Yeah, if you see God or Buddha representative, if you think I'm a Buddha, and when you see a Buddha, you can't smile. Then when <laughs> when will be when you be able to smile, huh? <sighs> because if you don't smile, you're stiff. Like I thought, uh, you thought you're unhappy with me, and I try to run away. I'll do something else. Uh, the other day, uh, one one. One brother supposed to drive me from the hotel. I don't know who scolded him. Maybe, <laughs> and he was so cold, so stony that even pierced my skin. You know, I said, "What's wrong, brother? Nothing wrong, master." <laughs> and at first, I said, "Hello, hello," because <laughs> one time. One time I was with Tong, you know, and he he rented a car, and a, a driver was also rented. It was in uh, Durban or somewhere. Was it the last one? Durban. The last one? Durban. Can you imagine? I forget already. Durban. Durban. Right. Okay. So when uh, I already don't want to bother them because sometimes sometimes I ask them to see me at the airport and then they don't come. <laughs> Because they misunderstand timing or whoever misunderstand, they blame each other, and we have to run around looking for them in case they miss us at one gate, and then they make more trouble. So I already don't want. But then I insist that he has a car already waiting. So I said, okay. And when we when we went down, and the driver was there, fine. Okay, I jump in, and then the the, the driver was a, a black man, you know, African, original chocolate. So. <laughs> And he was all smiling, all sun shining, you know. I think all the African sun was concentrated on his face, <laughs> undiluted. Yeah. So I said, "Hi, brother." You know. And he said, "Ah, oh, yes, <laughs> hello." <laughs> and, and we were talking, talking, and, and because he was so sun shining, <laughs> I didn't think he was initiated, but it feels like I made a mistake. So. And then, never mind, I keep talking to him about a lot of things, and then uh, maybe we went into spiritual stuff, and he told me, Master, he, he's not a brother. <laughs> as, as if he's a sister or something. I don't know. Maybe he told me, no, he's gay, I don't know. <laughs> maybe he checked him out. <laughs> I wonder. Now, so I say, why is that? Tong say, he's not initiated, he told me in Chinese. I said, never mind, he's still a brother. <laughs> so I still continue talking with him because he's such a pleasant, 
pleasant sight to see, and a pleasant color. <laughs> My favorite, chocolate. <laughs> so, <laughs> and it was so sh sunshiny, you know, and we talked, talked, talked. Okay, so because of that, <clears throat> when this brother waited for me out downstairs uh, in the, uh, no, this time, to take me out with Tong also drive another car or something like that. Oh, I forgot where is where, who is what. Yeah, anyhow, Tong was with, with, with him, right? Uh, you remember the guy? <laughs> okay, okay. I, s I call him Ice Crip. <laughs> Ice Crip. Even African sun didn't melt him. <laughs> okay, anyhow. So because of that incident, when I saw this brother, I I was more, you know, careful not to jump into co conclusion that he's another brother. <laughs> but I, I still, I thought he would say hello, you know, he didn't. So I, I have to say hello first. I said, hello. And he said, hello. <laughs> Are you here, brother? <laughs> Don't bother to find out who he is. <laughs> Uh, never mind. <laughs> just, just anybody could be anybody, you know. So then later, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised, and then later, he, he, he's, I don't remember anymore, and he keeps saying, "Yeah," and then he say, oh, "Are you?" Uh, and I asked, oh, "Is he? Is he a brother?" <laughs> because I begin to doubt. <laughs> what kind of brother is this? <laughs> and and he's. He's not a, a black one, he's a white one, <laughs> see, change of color. <laughs> Maybe he's scared white, you know? <laughs> his face changed. So anyhow, I, I asked him, is he a brother? Just to make sure, because <laughs> I thought he's not. <laughs> I know he is, but it doesn't seem like. So I asked him to make sure. He said, yes, yes, he is. I said, how come he's so so cold? And Tong also, also cold, I don't know. I said, I don't know, he's a brother. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, I know he's a brother, he's not a sister for sure, but... <laughs> Anyhow, okay, okay. And then I couldn't bear it no more, because it's so cold and so hard in the car. And the car's so small, I couldn't run nowhere. I just feel like I want to open the door and then run out, get a taxi or something. But I, I thought, okay, I better bear it. Maybe something good will come out of it. <laughs> Maybe I'm trying to, to make him happy instead of wait for him, uh, because I already had some trouble upstairs already, you know, with other, in, other brothers. <laughs> and so I'm already in a very not uh, <laughs> smiling mood, but I try. <laughs> Anyhow, and then I say, "What's wrong, brother? Are you okay? Nothing wrong, master." Then I know he's really a brother. <laughs> he say, Master. And then I say, Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. <laughs> and I say, Oh, because I say, Oh, I asked because uh, you didn't say hello to me, and I was thinking maybe you are not one of us, so I wonder if I should strike a conversation or not. Because sometimes the taxi driver, they don't say hello to you, they don't talk to you, and that's okay, because they're tired of everybody sitting in their car and talk, talk, and ask them about everything. Maybe they want to be quiet. So I, I say, because you didn't say hello to me first, so I didn't know whether I should say hello to you. Uh, and, uh, and then he say, nobody, because I, I, I don't know what to do. He's, he say he doesn't know what to do. I said, really? You see a friend, a lady, and you don't know what to do? He say, nobody tell me what to do. <laughs> I said, oh my God, I came from a long way, you know, and I thought, if you see me, at least just say hello, you don't have to do anything. He said, welcome, Master. <laughs> I say, what? What I mean is, you say just like that, I mean, no smiling, no happy, nothing. He say, he thought I didn't hear, he say, Welcome to South Africa, Master. <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. Not even one teeth, a tooth I could see from him. <laughs> All right, so I say, Oh my God, brother, <laughs> anybody scold you or something? Nobody scold me, Master. <laughs> 
I said, then why are you so? I feel that you are very uh, so cold and so unhappy. Are you unhappy because you have to drive me? No, no, master. It's my honor, master. <laughs> And then, and then I said, "Are you sure I I could take a taxi? You know, <laughs> no, it's my pleasure." <laughs> yeah, I have two witnesses, three witnesses. Yeah, I don't tell lie, no. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I wish I could do you know more exact. <laughs> oh my God! And I sat there and I wish that uh, I could fly a UFO or something <laughs> faster. Faster to the the, the 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 lecture hall because I don't know how I'm going to smile now. I'm I was trying all my best just to connect with this African guy and he kind of built a burning wall around him. But never mind. I said, Oh my God! I was worried. I begin to worry. I said, Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! I hope I'm not put off too much that I go into the hall and couldn't even smile to people. Because it could be infected, you know, when you are so <laughs> so down like that, and you you just have no connection with with the, another human being, you you could find it very difficult to to do your job, you know. It's such an important job. Everybody was waiting for you to be all good and merciful, loving, compassionate, friendly, shake hand, kissing babies, and all that stuff. <laughs> wow. But then I said to myself, no, no, no. That's his problem. That's his problem. Whatever it is, maybe his wife just left him. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it is, is his problem. I'm going to treat the people the way they deserve. All the people who came from long way to see me, who put all their time, energy, and attention and love into this lecture hall, like you, to make the lecture possible, and all the people who waited there to see me since. Hour or two hours, I travel a long way, you know, especially in Africa or some area which uh, not everybody has car and transportation is not always available, so late and they still came. And so I said, I'm not going to let them down. So I smile, I come in just as usual, immediate. You saw that, huh? But in the car, I could just. <laughs> I just could just choke myself. <laughs> oh. Okay, I hope next time I don't see any of you like that, no matter how hard you work. Yeah? Everybody works hard. And when we're working in such a grand, a mis uh, a grand mission, okay, a grand job like preparing, preparing for lecture yeah, in a strange country, no matter if we have brothers and sisters there or not, oh, of course everything is strange to us, yeah? And the people who organize it, also make mistakes, yeah, maybe not enough room, not enough facility, not enough timing, and everything is sometimes very, very uh, chaotic, yeah? And uh, we all know that. It happened to me too, you know, it happened to me. They left me stranded at the airport, or don't come to the hotel on time, or come later, <laughs> or change hotel, don't tell me, and I run around. Yeah, no matter how hard you work. Try to smile because if you cry, it's the same. <laughs> okay. If you cry or if you frown, it's the same. It takes seventy-three muscles to frown. It takes only a few muscles to smile. Understand? So don't overwork yourself. You already overworked, and don't work harder. Anyhow, okay. But I just want to thank you, all of you, huh? Again, every time, for your support. Your love, your unconditional, uh, how you say, offer for your, for God, for yourself, mm. and it's not only hard work that you get uh, during all this time. You also get blessing, right? You get happiness, and you get to know other brothers and sisters from different countries, yeah, and learn to know their beauty inside, their dedication their sincerity and their level of consciousness, they will also bless you while working with them. Yes. And of course, it, this is your blessing that you're working. Yeah? When you're working for God and for the multitude, your merits multiply. As many people as you help, 
that many fold of merit will add to your treasure of spiritual progress. So I, I should not even thank you, but nevertheless I thank you. I thank you for being so good. Yes. <clears throat> I was supposed to meet the resident somewhere, but I got lost, so I came here. <laughs> I guess, I guess you deserve it. <laughs> I came here already, but I was supposed to meet the resident first, you know, for something, and then I came to you later. But then uh, somehow I couldn't find them. They didn't organize. They designed a driver, but but they didn't tell her where to drive. <laughs> so because I told you also have to be there, so I get another driver, and then they didn't tell her where to go, and we couldn't contact them. And they keep coming here <laughs> three, four times, so I thought, never mind, let it be. Come see you first, and let the resident wait there. I hope next time they organize better, but I don't think so. <laughs> uh, next time it's another area, another mistake, <laughs> another excuse. So despite all this problem, and also my sometimes physical discomfort and some other individual problem, and you know, here and there, I still manage to smile because uh, I know you deserve it. You don't need to know my problem. You don't need to understand my suffering or my physical <coughs> discomfort or anything. You don't need that. Yeah, You came here to see me, to get the best out of me, so that's what you get. All right? So remember this, you and I, we both have problems. Okay? Your problem is your own creation. <laughs> My problem is your own creation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right then, huh? <laughs> More food? <laughs> okay. So, uh, anything you want to tell me? about your work, like during work time, is any good things happen to you? Don't tell me about bad things because I have plenty already. <laughs> yeah? What is it? Huh? Oh, I have something coming. Yeah. I'm not cold, it's just I have a cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a cold because, you know, smoking airplane again, you know, I'm allergic to all this filth of the world. And then sometimes you drink, uh, I forgot, you know, drink some of these open orange juice that they offer before the flight. These sometimes they left standing there a long time and all the germs and whatever come in there. And I should never drink it. I forgot. Sometimes I'm thirsty and I forgot. Yeah. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> but you're okay, huh? Ten, everything warm, huh? Yeah. I feel just cool, not cold. Yeah, I don't feel cold at all. Just my nose has been like that for a few, few days, almost since, uh, almost after the start of the tour. Yeah. And of course, of course, it makes me feel lousy, also. Yeah, I wish I could stay in bed today, for example. Yeah. Lay there all day and sleep. Wow, <laughs> that's my heaven. <laughs> People ask me, "What's heaven like?" I say, "Laying in bed all day, <laughs> doing nothing, <laughs> especially on tour or during retreat. <laughs> that's my heaven." I don't know about yours. <laughs> so maybe we have to go to different kind of heaven after all. <laughs> you know, like. One of those days like that. Yeah. Master, when we passed out a friar in Johannesburg, and uh, we encountered one uh, uh, local local person. One local person. Yes, and uh, he he felt very comfortable to near us, our yeah. group. Yes. And he say thank you. Uh, in these two days, uh, I feel this area improved a lot. Yes. And uh, he also practiced some uh, meditation. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And he felt much much stability. Yes. And he, he thanked to our group, and uh, and we talk a little bit about our teaching, our, yeah. our our method. That makes you feel good, huh? Yes. That's a confirmation to your spiritual blessing, yeah. 
Yes, sometimes Thanks, you practice a lot, you don't even know you improve, right? Until somebody else in another group who are very objective, who has nothing to gain from you, come to tell you that you're good, that they feel good about you. Yes, when you meditate a lot, people who has a, a sensitivity uh, um, due to some other, even other spiritual practice, they can feel that. They feel coolness inside when they're near you. They feel peace, yeah? They feel calm, they feel fearlessness, yeah, security. That's, that is the feeling uh, you can feel physically, yeah? And the, the, of course, uh, because of the spiritual upliftment that make them feel like that, yeah? Okay, it's good. I told you if you practice more, you become a saint. I told you, it's, it's the truth. <laughs> the day of initiation, you became free. Uh, the more you practice, the bigger saint you become. <laughs> Maybe that big, like me, my size. <laughs> what else? <coughs> yeah, it's okay, just to talk if you want to. You don't have to. Steve, yes. Yeah, Turkey is the first place I've ever been where uh any a man a man has kissed me. <laughs> Somebody kiss you? Yes, yeah, so on the night of the lecture when you were being held upstairs by the newspaper men. Yeah. I did some talking up front, and then uh, one of the persons in the audience later on, when he had to leave early before you came down. Yeah. Uh, he got up and he shook my hand. Then he goes and kisses me on both <laughs> cheeks, but he hadn't He's shaved for cheeks. several days. Yes, you yeah. know. But it was interesting. He really had a lot of love. <laughs> Interesting, is somebody kiss you? <laughs> uh, for a man, for a man to kiss me. Because you don't often get that, huh? No, no, first time. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Maybe I hope it's the last time. <laughs> <laughs> you want some more? I can tell somebody do it. <laughs> the, the, um, the African people, they are warm like that. Uh, Turkey is also part of, you know, African, yeah. You know, most uh, uh, deeper color people, they are more warm, they are more expressive, yeah. The more sun your country has, the more expressive you are, the more warm your personality. I feel that way. You know, like you travel, like in Europe, huh? you travel to like Spain, Italy, those are more sunny country. They are like that. They are always, oh la la, yeah. <laughs> happy, happy. <laughs> And the African people, they kiss a lot. Mostly the European, if they kiss only two times, yeah? The African, three times. One, two, uh, three. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> and you see the kid, you know, the African black little chocolate. <laughs> she run to me on the stage and just hug like that. Yeah, so natural. Nobody teach her. And even if you want to teach her, you can't do that. <laughs> yes. Because they're born like that, they're more happy, you know? Yeah, okay. Less materialistic. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's why the, uh, much of the, those countries who people are more happy and more content, they, they have less wealth, maybe, but they are rich, <coughs> rich in love and affection. <coughs> Sometimes it's better to have richness inside than to have richness outside, yeah? Anything else? <coughs> uh, this is also a funny story that happened in Turkey. Um, we, for two days we were passing out flyers at a place called the Egyptian Marketplace. Yeah. And um, the vendors, the owner of the little markets, uh, fell in love with all of us. Oh, <laughs> that's a little big love. <laughs> and they give us uh, chai every day, which is the famous Turkish tea. They bring us seats to sit down. They protect us from the police and the angry, uh, more fundamental Muslim. But oh, then yeah. the, there was one shop that we went into, and the man was giving us uh, figs and dates. And the son, his son came up to me, and very serious. He said, uh, oh, uh, you know, my mother died a couple of years ago. And I didn't know what was I was getting into, so I said, oh, gee, my, my husband died also two years ago. So then the uh, uh, boy said, oh, my father thinks you're very beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got a son right there. 
a son-in-law. Yeah. <laughs> so then he said, uh, oh, my father wants to marry you. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. <laughs> and he's very rich. Yeah. yeah. I said, oh, I'm very rich, too. He said, oh, yeah? I'm not kidding you. My father, very rich. Yeah. You could have a mansion, a, a chauffeur. Yes. Now I'm getting nervous. Now I'm where, trying where to... Where does he live? <laughs> 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 you tell all the women. <laughs> Give the address. <laughs> all right, now what? Oh, finally, I just kind of, I said, oh, I'm married to God. He said, oh, no, no, no. And then he, the son chased me out of the store afterward, and he said, do you have any children? <laughs> For him. But anyway, just to say that they don't understand why they want to be around us, but maybe yeah. because we meditate in our light, they feel comfortable with us and fall in love with us. I know that, yes. Sometimes can be misleading. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you, uh, if you consider that's a good fortune, maybe you give address to some, uh, <laughs> somebody else here. Yeah. Anyone who wants address of the rich man? <laughs> with a mansion and a chauffeur? Well, that's more than I can give you. <laughs> All right, what else? That's cool. <laughs> Master, at Durban le lecture, there's a gentleman. Um, I talked to him and he said he's been looking all over the world to search for uh, uh, the true master, even in Japan, Egypt, uh, India, China, something like that. Right. And he said he even wrote a book about it. Because yeah. the own of the um, spir uh, spiritual practice, everything is there's one point good and another thing that not content him, and then say he wrote a book about it and he he want to he hope that someday he can you know distribute the book for everybody to search for different type of um, um, master. Yes, uh -huh. Uh -huh. but tonight I come and see your master, and you know during the lecture. I find everything is so truth about the um, practice uh, for the path to see God. And I believe this is, you know, the most true path and um, the, the, the practice, the Kuan Yin method is the best of all. So I say, so do you think to, uh, about initiation? And I say, look at this. And he showed me the number of the <laughs> initiation <laughs> on his um, on his shirt, you know. Yeah. And I'm so happy. And that night, a lot of people they have a very good feedback about um, that. They're so glad that they, there's a lecture in Durban, and they hope that one day you will be back to South <laughs> Africa. And <laughs> <coughs> one lady, <laughs> one I met another Indian lady, and she said that four years ago, four years ago. Um, her son-in-law gave her the pamphlet, and she read it since uh, she read the book, and she dreamed about you. And every time she have a hindrance, she just look at the book, and all the answer, you know, uh, been come up, and uh, she will solve the, her problems. So tonight, uh, she come to the lecture. She say, "It is the the same master." I say, "Yes, of course." So, um, what do you think? And she say, "Oh, I have to wait for my um, brother, and uh, son-in-law, and my daughter, and my grandchildren, and they all initiate the, the same night, master." Mm. It's very nice, and I saw a lot of um, Indian people. They have very high, in uh, very high, like rich people. They come in, they dress up, and they say they really, they n they heard about you. Yeah. But then um, this is the first time that they see a very beautiful master, you know, in as this in the world. <laughs> they usually see the the old guru and you know long bear and and then and she really impressed that your master is just so beautiful. <coughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> In, in Egypt, one very funny thing happened. Um, on the night of the lecture, it was cancelled, and then all our, our team started l leaving. And we had all the blessed food, and we still had to distribute it. <laughs> so in front of the hotel, we, all our brothers and sisters, we took all the, all the fruit and oranges and stuff like that there. And one policeman, came, uh, he came there, and he kept screaming to the, some children to come there. He said, no, no stand back 
and uh, don't take him. <laughs> yeah, he, he didn't want any 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 anybody else to come and take it. It was yeah. a strange concept for people to give give stuff away. Okay. And I think one of our sisters said he's trying to stop it, and he, and the policeman said I'm stupid like this, <laughs> and it was very very angry. Oh. Well, he said no 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 stop it, and then later after a while he was angry, and then we were giving food to, to the kids. Then he took the food himself, and he was giving it himself. <laughs> and, then, and then later, he was holding some of the Chinese brothers and kissing them <laughs> and, and saying, I love you people. <laughs> so first he was very angry, and then he <coughs> became very happy. Yeah. And, and Funny, huh? Yeah. yeah. It happens like that once when I was there. And also because of political change, they didn't allow us to talk, yeah? And uh, so I went there, stood there quiet, couldn't say anything. Just look at people, people look at me, and everyone is happy. And then, of course, we have some food uh, for distribution. So we, uh, I give it to the people. And first, all the policemen and all the security guards don't like it, the army people and all that. Yeah, some country are like that. You don't scream at me for not being compassionate and run around the world and share the teaching and all that, even if I want to. It's not always possible. I have tried many times. According to your request, for example, in Indonesia or Egypt, but it doesn't work. Okay, so anyhow, uh, we were distributing food and uh, the policemen don't want it. I said, okay, never mind, then we don't do it, whatever. You know, I'm very easy. <laughs> if you want something good for your country, I give. If you don't want, I take it back. And then later they jump up on the stage and take all the food and distribute it for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <coughs> it was a really good atmosphere because yeah. after we gave the food, yeah. I felt very happy there. Yeah, I know. People are nice everywhere. People are people. Yeah, people yeah. are people. It just sometimes political situations different, and the politicians they always have fear. They always have fear. Uh, not all politicians. Uh, yeah, many politicians they always have fear that somebody else uh, will do something harmful to them. But also they have they have reason to believe that. Yeah, in some country. They are extremists, you know, they are fanatics and they are terrorists and all that kind of thing because their country is not stable yet. But the more they restrict their religious freedom, <laughs> the less stable the country would stay like that. But they don't know that. Never mind, it's okay. We have uh, done something for their country, it will sprout <laughs> yeah, in time. Mm. So don't bother, keep asking me, go here, go there again, huh? Help me just to take care of you. <laughs> That's enough already. It's a lot of work to do. You have enough food, by the way, everybody? Yes, good, good, good. Yeah. That's why you like retreats so much. <laughs> Whatever you cannot get at home, you get it here, you know, at least, huh? <laughs> okay, guys, I do something else. See you in the hall, maybe? Yeah? Okay.
How's everyone? Okay. Yes. Ready to go home tomorrow? No. no. <laughs> you can sleep here. It's okay. <laughs> Same guys yesterday? No. <laughs> the one who couldn't ask yesterday, right? Okay. You make sure you ask them. Yeah. Look like there's some. Uh, or maybe I am seeing double. <laughs> I drink too much. <laughs> yeah, there was a guy who, who drinks a lot and just come home every night drink, drunk. And his, 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 his wife complains. I just don't understand. The, 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 someone could drink without being thirsty. <laughs> <coughs> not thirsty and keep drinking, you know. I couldn't understand somebody like that. So the man, you know, had a, had a few bottles, too, too much, saying, and you, I also don't understand you. Why every time I come home, you have to bring home four women look exactly like you? <laughs> 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 I, I'm seen double, maybe, maybe I'm drunk. <laughs> I drink too much orange juice. <laughs> wow, I never see so many happy people in my life together in one place. <laughs> <laughs> if you continue, I will have to take this off. <laughs> Just to shock you out of your <laughs> of your what prejudice. <laughs> Yes, yesterday, <laughs> my God, <laughs> I say, why are you two wear always the same thing? You know, like, okay, blue, together blue. <laughs> you make appointment with each other or something. I say, no, it's just, just naturally. I say, how come? Today, white, tomorrow, blue, just always the same. And I, both of them wear the same shirt all the time. You know, like, look like, you know, blue and then together blue. And white, together white. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you make an appointment? He said, no, no, we just don't have all the shirts anymore. We, we don't have time to wash them. <laughs> then, then I suggest maybe no need to wear anything. It's easy. We're in Africa, man. <laughs> People here are casual, you know. They, they have learned a thousand years ago that the body has nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> yeah, and we call them backward country. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, too much cover up sometimes. <laughs> it's all garbage inside. <laughs> we cover all the garbage with all the beautiful dirt, like blue dirt, yellow dirt. Yeah, today is blue. <laughs> So later on, say, <laughs> one of them say, Master, yesterday, the Zulu dancer, that's a good outfit. <laughs> you, you know, the one, just a tiger tail hanging there. <laughs> the, the man, <laughs> yeah, he just borrowed the tail from the tiger, chuck, and then he hang over there. <laughs> it looked good to me. <laughs> it's convenient. So I say, okay, next time, this. That is your outfit. <laughs> All you pack in your suitcase is 12 tiger tails <laughs> for 12 days. <laughs> yeah, that's in case of rainy day, you know. Like <laughs> Actually, one tail per day is enough, but sometimes, you know, you sweat too much, <laughs> you change. <laughs> the next time, 
<laughs> next time, next time, all of you men, at least men, you're freer than us women. You know, we have too many things to hide. <laughs> You guys are more simple. <laughs> so uh, next time we just make retreat in Africa, sa save everybody, go through custom, and <laughs> just <laughs> you know <laughs> they don't have to even pack. <laughs> they just. <laughs> You remember the Zulu dancer? Wow, they're cool. <laughs> they look cool. They don't even have to pack. <laughs> uh, they just string them together. <laughs> just hang it on their shoulder and <laughs> they say goodbye. <laughs> and every day they take one out <laughs> and just hang it. <laughs> <laughs> hanging downstairs <laughs> just to make sure people don't see the, the, the extra toe. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know the difference between that toe and the other toe, I tell you. <laughs> well, since I'm young, people tell me, don't look at that. <laughs> Look down there. <laughs> Just since then, I have learned to look up on men. <laughs> and so, even, even the African people nowadays, they lost some of their uh, inborn free, free, free freedom. They have to use a tiger tail to, to cover their own tail. <laughs> thanks, thanks to modern civilization, before they didn't bother to do that. <laughs> And the tiger can keep their tail. <laughs> Seriously, you know, it, it's not a joke. <laughs> Nowadays, if you go into the jungle, <laughs> and <laughs> if you see the tiger, <laughs> they don't have tails anymore. <laughs> Poor tiger. Yes. <laughs> so. When you go to the zoo in your country, if you see any tiger without tail, you know it came from Africa. <laughs> before, before the African people, they live innocently, you know, they don't care which part of the body is all made from God and they respect them all the same. Nowadays, <laughs> the civilized people come and tell them, Oh, that part is taboo. <laughs> Cover it. Oh my God, what did you do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Poor tiger. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> You want to ask anything else? <laughs> I'm so happy to see you happy. <laughs> okay, yeah? Feel good, yeah? Yeah, I bet you do. Yeah, it's the purpose of enlightenment, huh?
At least you feel good sometimes. <laughs> yeah, guys. You want to ask questions first? Yeah, you do have some questions? Yeah? Okay. Now you make one, two, three. Who wins? Ask first. <laughs> Man or woman? Yeah, this guy and that woman. <laughs> okay. One, one, two, three. Who wins? <laughs> so, you, hey. so who wins? Woman, huh? Okay, okay. At this time. <laughs> okay, you ladies ask all the questions and then men, okay? All right, good, good. If I heal somebody, if you were heal, heal yeah. a patient with homeopathy, yeah. do I have to take on the patient's karma? Homeopathy? Homeopathy. Oh, this is okay. It's yeah. kind of medicine, right? Yeah. Okay, no problem. No, this is like doctor job. It's okay. Thank you. Who else? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome in Africa, Master. We all love you very much, and your country needs you very much. And then I want to ask you about soulmates. Can yeah. you explain to us? Is it necessary to contact your soulmate, and if what happened? In his life? Yeah. Mm, if it's necessary, then it is necessary. necessary. If it's not necessary, then it is not necessary. <laughs> You will know, you know, yes. We have plenty of soulmates, really, not just one. Just our path don't always cross. And because it's not necessary, I guess. <laughs> Do you have a soulmate already? Yes. Okay, then why worry? Yeah? No need another one. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> Dear Master, South Africa is a sunshine and a bright country. We didn't have a bride with you. Why not? We didn't have a what? Bride. Barbecue. Oh, barbecue. We didn't have time. You eat enough before these three days. Right? <laughs> we wanted to hear you sing and dance with us. Huh? We wanted to hear, hear, hear you sing and dance with us. Oh, yeah, yeah. In your dream. <laughs> Maybe another time. Huh? Sister, I'm still busy. <laughs> yeah. Sing and dance. Wow, that's a nice idea, man. When will we do that? Huh? But dance is it's three, two, three thousand people? <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we first buy, have to buy the tiger tail, so. <laughs> I was, I was thinking, what a free life the American, the, the African people had before, and they still do sometimes. Some of the tribe, they still very carefree. Yeah, they're not ashamed of their body, and they don't feel such a complication like us, the civilized people. <laughs> uh, one disciple told me and my husband that I, I have met a big mistake in my past life. So now the invisible being come to come back to surround me and talk, let me uh, liberate. But, but because I believe in your teaching, so I, I say to her it's nonsense. But because uh, she has a good background in our group, so my husband believed. Which group? Our group our or group? your own group? Our group, our Guanyin Mesa. This group? Yes. Oh, yeah? Who uh, is it? I kill her. <laughs> Can I tell you in private? Talking nonsense. <laughs> so now, actually, she influenced me and my family a lot because she, uh, she said, Inner Master, through her to tell me that uh, if I want to solve my problem, I have to follow two solutions. First, I have to quit my job because my job is a, a high school teacher. It might collect a lot, a lot of karma from my students. Oh. And the second? I changed my mind. I don't kill her. 
I will send her to African jungle. Let her <laughs> let her collect tiger tails for us. <laughs> okay, don't bother about that woman. I will really do it. <laughs> okay, and don't worry about that. Okay. Can no, I, don't do that. Can I continue? I don't think so. <laughs> All this nonsense, what for? Just do what you do, don't listen to her anymore. Finito, whatever she said. Okay, thank you. Tell her I said so, tell her she should meditate more and be more humble. Okay? Thank you. I never tell anybody such nonsense. All right? It's your job and it's very noble. Yeah? Because you're a Kuan Yin practitioner, you radiate good vibration and goodwill and love. It's good for your student. Yeah? Mm. Whatever is more above a judging from that, anything else is garbage. So don't worry about it, okay? Tell her shut up, otherwise I send her to collect tiger tails. <laughs> Thank you, Master. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> We, we are short of tiger tails. <laughs> we, we need some volunteers. <coughs> so any of you who don't practice well and talk nonsense, if I'm short of volunteers, I will just force you to do this job, <laughs> to erase your karma. <laughs> All right, next. Hello, Master. Listen, you guys, uh, you just practice a little bit and just keep quiet, okay? There's none of your business. Number one, number two, is it's not true what you're saying. Yeah, just try to persuade people by different means using master. Master, that's a terrible thing to do. Ah, yeah. I have no question, master. I just want to thank you very much for taking my karma. God bless you. Oh, God bless you more. <laughs> Good evening, master. Um, the question was in Toria about the ties. Your offerings and tithes. You said it's good to give tithing. Who do, who do you have to give it to? Did I say you should give up your tie? No, not not. <laughs> <laughs> you can wear it. <laughs> or you give it to whoever needs it. I, I don't know what you do with your tie. <laughs> what for you give up your tie? No, your your a tenth of your tie. Your, whichever you, your income. The ten percent. That's correct. Oh. Oh, well, you give the charity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give it whomever you want to give. Okay. That's Anybody, right. any organization, anyone that you think need it. Okay. Mm. One tenth of your income, right? Thank oh, you. Oh, that's from the church before, but that's good. That's good. You give to whomever, whomever you trust that do some good to the needy people, yeah? Our spiritual purpose. Good evening, Master. Mm -hmm. um, just want to thank you for always being with me whenever I needed it, that you really are my best friend. Okay. And, um, I want to ask, sometimes you say that um, a person that has no education, who might not even know how to read and write, usually has better spiritual progress than a person with a PhD, for example. I want uh, to ask not you... Not always, but <laughs> yes, yeah, in I know, many cases, unusual. yes. Um, can you tell me, how does a person regain a simple mind that um, he used to have before? Is there a way hmm. to do it? Yeah, well, <laughs> you have to try to forget what you learn. <laughs> <laughs> It's not easy, yeah, it's not easy. Once in here, difficult to erase, but with a lot of meditation and sincere, humble effort, yes, you will attain it, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, and... Um, it's just not like that. People who, who learn too much, they're full in here, mm -hmm. and you just like a record player, you know, whatever it recorded, we give out again all the time. So it has no, it's become like a habit to think like a book, you see? So it's difficult for true wisdom and knowledge to enter. Yeah, it's too long 
the process of brainwashing is too long, and now suddenly he became a spiritual. Of course, it's a short while, so it takes a long time to erase that. He had to replace it with some more higher knowledge. See? Yeah. But it's not impossible, just a little harder, sometimes very hard. Yes. The ego, yeah, the arrogance of the mind. Yeah. And what about um, one's occupation? For example, the, the field that I've chosen is one that I constantly have to learn, to learn new things, to learn new technology. Should I consider changing to a new field where I don't have to <laughs> use <laughs> the brain so much? What kind of profession you have? Um, I just finished studying electrical engineering. It involves electronics, what, what? electrical engineering. Yes, yes. Yes, it involves electronics and uh -huh. computers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Okay. If you already are humble in your heart, maybe it's not all that difficult. Yeah. Okay. It depends. If the person uh, too much attached to worldly knowledge, yeah, and feeling very uh, arrogant in his mind. That is difficult. Not difficult, not because his soul doesn't progress. His soul still progress if he meditate every day and have true faith in the Master and humbleness to beg for a change. Yeah? He still progress. It's just his mind still has not been washed and he will continue to make mistake in worldly life and make trouble for himself. That's all. Okay? And the wisdom is not easily to go through to help him. That doesn't mean he will not attain spiritual progress. Yeah? Uh, ego is just difficult to kill, that's all. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Coming here before you came, I had a question which you answered by Already. your action. I, I was proud, I am still proud for being, uh, having been touched by you yesterday. Yes. And uh, I am that kind of very proud that uh, this, I can't uh, help it. I know that it's bad to be proud, proud. Mm -hmm. and uh, I know that uh, I need your grace and your blessing so that this pride leaves me. This. Uh, type of pride has been with me for a long time. Whenever I did, I was, I am proud for being the son of my father. Yes. I am proud to be the brother of my brother. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> but I want to stop being that type of proud. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. I, I am just begging for your blessing. Why? Not for me only, but for all others who are like me. Why? Because I know, I know, I feel it is bad. I don't know why it's bad to be proud to be the brother of your brother. <laughs> huh? Because he is a, he, my brother it's happened somebody. to be somebody. Somebody. Oh, I would be proud too. If my brother was a king of Zulu, I would be very, 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 very proud. <laughs> Thank Don't you. Don't worry about it. You're okay. Thank you, yes. Master. The second thing is that I am afraid to share good things with other people. And this... Like what? What good thing? Uh, good things uh, to present the teachings of Suma oh, Chang Hai. Yes, yes, I understand. It's and, difficult, yes. And uh, up to now, I am initiated for three months, and I know your teachings for about ten months. I have not got the courage to accept my wife and my yes, uh, yes. because she lives with me and she know what I am doing, yes. and uh, she also had. The taken the convenient method. Yes. Okay. Well. Uh, you do it when you're ready. Okay. No problem. Well, I want to do it now, but I want to do it naturally. Mm. I don't want to to do it uh, okay. Okay. artificially. Okay. 
So you just uh, work with the group first, okay? Like, okay, people go out and do something, you do with them. You know, the group in, in our center or in our, uh, in our group sometimes, many uh, brothers and sisters go out and do something, sharing the teaching, you just help out. That's also well, fine. You don't have to do it uh, individually yourself. Well, I was in the, I come from Mauritius, you know, a small island in the Indian Ocean. Yeah. And uh, we are only five initiates there. And uh, we meet regularly. And uh, yeah. maybe you, you, may, Go out you, must, you, must, you must bless us. You, we intended to welcome you in Mauritius, but... Uh, you do it first, okay? And then maybe <laughs> I will come. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, thank you. Mm. You are a big guy, mature, with bare and white hair and all that, and you dare not do anything. You ask me, a little woman like this, go so far away from your little to your little island and do some big thing for you? Forget it. <laughs> I'm also very scared. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. Uh, Master, you explain in your book, um, I've come to take you home, that there are two kinds of masters. Um, one that are always in ecstasy and the others that are in ecstasy and out of ecstasy at the same time. Mm. My question is, um, I'm trying to find out, is the consciousness of the master moving between ecstasy and normal consciousness, back and forwards? No. Or, or is, it, is there a duality? I can't understand. No, it's the same thing at the same time. Because that, that's what I, I can't understand. Is there a way okay. you can help me with that? Yes, I can. Uh, everything in this world is divided by time and space because of our concept of the duality of things. There is God, there is me, there's heaven, there's earth, okay? Because we're in this physical <coughs> body and, and we are sh surrounded by this physical illusion that there are things at time and space, that you are there, I'm here, okay? And there's past, present and future because of time. That's the only thing that makes us realize that we are separate from God. And, and that's why we can enjoy God again. You see what I mean? We create this illusion. Therefore, things will not happen uh, to us always at the same time, yeah? For example, uh, you cannot eat and uh, blow a harmonica at the same time, okay? And you cannot uh, <coughs> be in a party drinking while bathing uh, on the beach at the same time, okay? But nevertheless, in higher dimension, things happen all the time at the same times, but it doesn't coincide with each other. You can always choose to have all at once or you can only choose to have one thing, understand or not. Okay, for example, here in this world, I'm here, you are there, all right? Or I'm here and you are there, or you are in Africa, I'm in England because we are divided by space between England, uh, be the ocean of England and Africa or many other countries in between, yeah? And if I want to see you, you want to see me, you have to take an airplane. I have to take an airplane or a boat to come see you, it takes some time. In heaven, however, even though you are there, I am here, if I want to see you instantly, you are there or I am there. You understand what I mean? Because you are there and you are here at the same time but we don't crowd each other. We can choose to be with a person, with a thing, with a place, or we can choose to feel alone. This is, a, this is the freedom of a celestial dimension, which we don't have here, okay? So now a master, a true master, is the one who mastered two worlds. So she can be here and be there at the same time and doing both jobs at the same time. You see what I mean? Yes. So she can be here and be there. Therefore, and she can be in England and Africa and everywhere at the same time and speak all kind of different languages in that kind of dimension. 
Okay, in this dimension, she speak English, Vietnamese, Chinese, whatever. At the same time, anybody in Australia, in, in German, praying to her, want to talk to her, if that person is highly developed enough, if she converse with the master in English, in German, in uh, uh, Austrian language, in Su Swedish, in, 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 in uh, Hollandish, whatever language, at the same time as the master is sitting here and talking in English, at the same instant, you understand? Yes, because the master has transcended the differences between time and space. That's how that master can lead you here and continue to lead you in the life after, at the same time, or after she left the physical body, or after you left the physical body and the master is still here. You see now? Uh, is that clear to you? Oh, thank you. Anything else? And then I just want to say thank you very much for bearing my karma. I appreciate oh, you're welcome. It very much. You're welcome. Anytime. Thank Anytime. you. Anytime. Anytime. No problem. Thank you. Next one? Okay. Uh, thank you for showing the people how to become independent by knowing their own soul face to face. I've been initiated, say, about two weeks ago, and at that time I, I felt an intense force in my forehead, and I also heard some sound, but uh, I did not see the light at all. Mm. And uh, would you be so kind as to show me the light? Mm. You close your eyes now and meditate. If you don't see again, I come and kick you. <laughs> kick open the door. <laughs> Next one. Thank you, Supreme Master Shanghai. You are Thank welcome. you, Supreme Brother. <laughs> Sup Supreme Master. Uh, Just call me Master, make it simple, okay? <laughs> it's too official for me, supreme this and that. I'm already supreme, everybody knows, no need. <laughs> master, thank you, Master. Okay. Uh, I sometimes feel guilty and ashamed when I see you because you initiate me free and I get the spiritual teaching free. I don't know what I can do to please you, Master. Just continue to meditate. Thank you, Free Master. Free yourself, yeah. Thank I mean, you. enjoy yourself. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Uh, Master, uh, what is the worst thing affected you negatively since and the best thing that affected you positively since you are childhood? What the thing affect what? Leave, give me the question. <laughs> are you writing it in Zulu or in English? <laughs> in French. In French, and yeah. then you translate it. Are you so cute? <laughs> What is the thing? What is the thing that affects you badly? I mean, uh, if you allow me, I can speak in French. Must yeah, you speak in French and they translate <laughs> to me. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, oui, maître, j'aimerais savoir des expériences négatives que vous avez eues dans votre vie oh. et les expériences positives depuis votre enfance. Oh, c'est trop. Il <laughs> y a beaucoup. <laughs> On peut tout, on peut pas tout rencontrer, non? But you translate it into English, okay? Yes, he wanted to know what, um, in, in your whole life, you know, what were the um, what most painful, negative and, and, yeah, positive, and positive, the positive greatest experience that you've had? I said too many. Je veux écrire uh, mille livres. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> and maître, please. <laughs> merci, maître. Maître, quelle est votre vision de la vie dans 100 ans? How, la vie dans, oh. how, how do you picture the world in 100 years? And a year after or before? In the future. In the future. Let me see. I see. He's <laughs> 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 gone. Come back. <laughs> I see. I see what I see. Thank you. <laughs> 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 
there will be more, more quoning souls coming to our family. <laughs> but I see something, I see something else. Oh, the master may be gone, but, but she's not gone. <laughs> She's there, but not there. <laughs> now she's here, but also she's not here. I see, I see, <laughs> I see what, I see what the future be. Kiss Sarah, Sarah. Tu es content maintenant? Ça va? Oui, ça va. Va voir en plus? Oui. Ok. La... Merci, okay. maître. Je vous en prie. Oui, vous aimez trop. Vous nous aimez trop. Le Kuan Yin méthode, la méditation par la méthode Kuan Yin. C'est un bref historique. Préhistorique? Il y en a. C'est la même chose. C'est la même chose. C'est la même méthode tout le temps. Ok. Plus de questions, maître? Merci beaucoup, Mère. Master, you're gorgeous. Huh? What? Huh? Say it again. <laughs> I hear, but I did not hear. <laughs> Say it again, please. You're gorgeous, man. Yes, that's what I thought. <laughs> ah, that's one of my favorite sentences. Uh, I can say that all the time. <laughs> yes, what else? Is that a question or an answer? <laughs> well, big thanks, and uh, I can't just stop looking into your eyes. I wonder why. Why not? <laughs> My eyes are beautiful. <laughs> you guys, African, are so cute. <laughs> Especially that French speaking guy. <laughs> Merci, maître. <laughs> Yes. Master, I would like to ask you a question about the Kuan Yin practice. I find now when I put my hands in the position and do the, do the Kuan Yin practice, the only sound I get is a continuous high-pitched whistling sound. Mm -hmm. A bit, if I was to take this microphone and put it in front of the loudspeakers, that sort of noise. Yeah. And no other sound but that. Mm -hmm. Is that all you right? Or should I... You adjust sometimes? I'm sorry? To adjust? The position sometimes? Mm, it doesn't seem to change anything. Okay, then you continue. <laughs> it's okay as it is. Oh, it's okay as it is. Okay, thank you, Master. You are very welcome. <laughs> Anybody else? Yes, yeah. Yes. Sometimes it, it takes a long while, you know, to get up, but once you're up, you know, yeah, it's okay. Yes. My English is uh, very bad. I am French. Okay, French, ça va. I can speak French? Yes. Uh, je vais bientôt avoir neuf mois, donc je ne marche pas encore tout seul. Oh, pourquoi? Eh bien, spirituellement. De quoi? Vous n'avez pas vu les... Si, 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 un petit uh -huh. peu, si, si. Mais uh -huh. comme je suis encore neuf mois, c'est très, très court. Uh -huh. uh, pour grandir plus vite. <laughs> vous avez dit tout à l'heure ou vous ce êtes, matin vous que êtes déjà grandi qu'il est intéressant et qu'il est mieux de participer euh, aux, aux retraites au quoi aux retraites c'est à dire comme ici oh, 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 oui. Oui, oui. alors plus on participe aux retraites plus on participe donc aux méditations de groupe 
plus on doit grandir euh, mm -hmm. plus facilement. Mm -hmm. et, plus, et, la question... et plus il faut, il faut aider les, les autres. Oui. Yeah. Et quand est-ce qu'on considère qu'on est adulte spirituellement Considère quoi when, when, do you, when could you consider that you become an adult spiritually <laughs> When have you reached adulthood <laughs> Ça de, dépend de vous. Hmm? It's up to you. Tell him we have to not only group meditate and, uh, and retreat, but we also have a great love to serve other people. And that must come naturally. Or you should, you should try to first and pretend that you do have that. And then later it also will become uh, natural because whatever you command of yourself, your mind will listen eventually, your cells will listen and your soul will support. Yeah? So if you think you don't have love for other people, to help the other people to be enlightened, then you should try to do whatever in that direction first, whether you are sure you have love or not sure that you have love. Le, la méditation de groupe. Ah, the translation in the earphones. Oh, yeah, already. Yeah, c'est bon. Uh, seconde question. Vous avez dit qu'on n'était pas, que on avait notre propre destinée. Donc tout est écrit. Uh, le, li le libre arbitre alors n'est qu'illusion. You, you mentioned that with, you know, there is destiny, that everything is already written. So how about our free will and, and free choice? Is that an illusion? No, I have said with the free will we could use to change our future, yes? That's why I said that at the time of initiation that your fixed karma, we don't change, yeah? The fixed karma means that the road that you have marked for yourself to walk during this lifetime, that is your choice, predestined choice, pre-birth choice. We don't interfere with that. Nevertheless, Should you feel too tired during your own marked journey, the Master will also carry you for a while. Yeah? Meanwhile, all the karma that you have incurred from left over from the past lives or a new karma in the present life which hinder your practice doesn't mean God punish you. It's just that there's cause and there's an effect. It's just automatic. Yeah? So uh, during this present life, If you have done something that is uh, not favorable to your spiritual condition, the Master has to take care of that. And suppose you incur, incur some more in the future, of course uh, we will have to take care of that together. Yes. Yeah. Ça va? Ah, très bien. Très bien. Merci pour toutes les bénédictions que vous nous donnez. Je vous en prie, monsieur. Merci. Yeah, next one, this one, yes. Uh, kann ich in Deutsch sprechen? Ah ja, ja, yes. wenn ich uh, verstehe, weiß ich noch nicht. Versuch was. <lacht> Hallo Meisterin, ich wollte mich bedanken bei dir uh, für deine Liebe und deinen tollen Humor. Und uh, ich bin sehr glücklich, dass du die Zeit bei uns bist. Kannst du ein bisschen langsamer sprechen? Ja. Für eine arme Ausländische wie ja. ich bin. Bis dann? Ja. Ich wollte eine Frage zu meiner Meditationspraxis stellen. Und zwar, ich folgte, bevor ich dich kannte, einem Meister, der aber schon tot war. Du hast seine, ein... seiner Lehre. Hm. Aha, gut. Und stellte aber nach einer gewissen Zeit fest. Du sprichst nicht immer so schnell. Und stellte fest, dass das mir nicht tief genug war. Du bist nicht tief genug? Die Lehre von ihm. Er hat das gesagt? Ich habe das gefühlt. Aha, dass du nicht tief genug für ihn? Für mich. Oh, er war nicht tief genug für dich? Ja. Ja, und dann? Und ähm, ich machte mich auf die Suche nach einem lebenden Meister. Anderer Meister, ja, ja anderer Meister. Fand dich. Mhm. Und ähm, habe das Problem, dass ähm, in der Zeit, wo ich andere Meditationen praktizierte, Aha. Ähm, meine Erfahrungen jetzt nicht wesentlich tiefer geworden sind. Ich wurde im Mai in Amsterdam eingeweiht mhm. und ähm, mache mir oft Gedanken und es belastet mich, dass ich nicht vorwärts komme, spirituell und Erfahrung. Immer noch? Immer noch. Mhm. 
Und ähm, außer der Zirkulation meines Blutes während der Tonmeditation habe ich kein Geräusch. Oh. Also keinen Sound. Okay. Und äh, bei der Lichtmeditation. Auch nicht? Du bist deaf und dumm? Ja. <lacht> ah, gratuliere. <lacht> okay. <lacht> ich werde das fixieren. <lacht> Wie sagt man? <lacht> Reparieren. Ja. Danke. Alles? Klar. Okay. Machst du die Augen so? Mhm. Und warte da. <laughs> yes. I got a force around my head. You uh, get what? A force. A force. Uh -huh. Around my head, at my eye level. Okay. And this happened for two years already. Uh -huh. At the beginning is below the eye level, mm -hmm. and every time I try to support it, it it expands. Okay. Um, at the beginning. I feel pain. Yeah. But now, um, the pain no. is gone. Okay. But I can't get through it. Every time, vegetation, it comes out. And uh, the force there, and it's expanding. Yeah. Um, should I support it, or should I just drop it? Don't just think. Whatever it is, it is. Okay? But it, it disturbs me. Why? Because it keeps expanding my bones. Gets out of it. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Simpson. Oh my God! I see it. It does. Wow. Your face look weird with all the bones sticking out. <laughs> and because of that, I couldn't hear the light. The sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to always see the light. It's some different experiences. Sometimes. You expand your consciousness, or it feels like your body expand. I told you not to pay attention to any bodily feeling sensation, okay? Otherwise, you're stuck there. Didn't I say so at the time of initiation? You were instructed to forget your body, yeah? Because sometimes your body reacts to the different spiritual level of power. Of course, you have not been vegetarian, before, you know, and you have not uh, meditated before, or you have maintained different kind of meditation before, so now it's clashing with each other. So sometimes uh, the body reacts the way it is, yeah? So don't bother about that, okay? Don't, don't, don't remember the feeling. Forget it. I was in initiated two years ago, but I got the wrong concentration. I got my concentration between my eyes. And only recently, I keep reading your books again, and I found that I should concentrate mm -hmm. here. Yes. And uh, uh, having more practice, then I think now I'm Better. going to do it. Yes. Okay. Okay. I fix it. Okay. But don't pay attention to the body. Anyone else? What, what do you think about the relationship between uh, mm, this? If someone gets mad in this world, if he comes in psychiatric care and the spiritual dimension of that, perhaps if someone... Um, or what do you think um, about Western psychiatry? Hmm. Do they know the, the spiritual meaning of that or not? Um, hmm. Not really, yes. They're just trying to fix some uh, dysfunction nerves in the brain, yeah? Well, that's all they can do in this world, yes? And some people do need that. Hmm? Some doctors do need that. <laughs> so, are you okay? Okay, thank you. Yes, yes. In the beginning, some of the philosophers, like Jung, yeah, they have found some dimensional, different dimension inside. But the later day, people lost that essence. They just use the book, the theory, and try to help people. And this uh, kind of meditation, I think that can help. Can help, but yes. provided the patient still understanding what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. thank you. You're welcome. Dear Master, 
this morning during the meditation, I saw a little white dot, very tiny dot, shaped like this. What is what is that? Hmm? That is swastika. A little dot, very bright yeah, white okay. dot, like, like this. It's a swastika. It's a symbol of the Buddhism. Uh, you are Buddhist? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You've just seen some of the Buddhist, uh, you know, symbol. It's okay. It's just one of the small passing by experience. Yes. Who else? Korea? I share my the experience uh, during this morning, uh, I mean, after the, the meditation. So I saw the movie Little Buddha. Uh -huh. And. Um, I will respect. I I copy the same, you know. I copy the same. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to do? <laughs> Flash. Yes. Okay. You're welcome, brother. Uh, not again now, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. You were. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I have told you sometimes, you guys, if you couldn't see the light, you should do it like that. Did I tell you before? Oh, one of the trick. <laughs> okay. But not all the time, not always do that. And I, I, you get a wisdom eye over here like an egg. <laughs> Swollen wisdom eye. Yes. Okay. Hmm? <laughs> Every time we have retreat, I feel better, better, better every time, even though I say it's the last time. Ah, we, it feels like we become more and more one, you know. You have less question, you give me less headache, <laughs> and you feel more contentment, more intelligence, uh, more of everything more of loveliness, more of heaven. I feel I have heaven with you. Every time I see you, I feel heaven getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> just like this tent <laughs> before. <laughs> it's a small tent, you know, like just one piece of canvas, and now look at this tent. Wow, it's incredible how they do this. This African tent, you see? Very, very different. <laughs> It's a little bit color there. <laughs> Some chocolate color up there. <laughs> Anyhow, you see, oh, so clever ten, I can't believe it. Very little pole. <coughs> yeah? And strong. Very spacious, but very little support. Wonderful. Must be clever people who designed this. All right, guys. Girls, <laughs> mems, sirs, <laughs> see you in the morning tomorrow, okay?
people I have ever seen. <laughs> I'm the most lucky woman. <laughs> God loves you, God loves you, God loves you. I don't know how we make it, but we always made it. <laughs> yes. Very, very capable, uh, disabled, <laughs> disciples. <laughs> I don't know how to call you. Capable group of men and women, very dedicated, very intelligent. I don't know if the uh, the war general and. Marshal, they could do better than you do for conquering people's heart and how you say conquer all the nations. Yes, wherever you go, you are just there <laughs> eating. <laughs> No, honestly, you, you are very, very good. I'm always impressed, always impressed. <sighs> we can just go anywhere and then be a family immediately, <laughs> with food, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You have enough food these days, I trust? Yes. Mine is a miracle, it's a miracle. Just sitting under the trees like this, such a simple environment, simple arrangement, and you look so radiant, so happy. Yes, we always want to know what the saints in the past looked like. Yes, look at yourself, look at the neighbors. They were like that. Maybe they wear different clothes, yeah? <laughs> but they were like you. I have never known any such a happy group, <laughs> so happy, so content. And that's why you are talented and capable. When you're happy, things go smooth. When you try to calm your mind, you know exactly what to do in any situation or know the alternative, yes? Only when we're tense, when we are stressed out, then we could not Mm, take care of our daily affair and daily needs. Otherwise, when we have be everything smooth. I want to thank God again. Of course, thank God first. Otherwise, he he thinks, <laughs> yes, for giving us the, this opportunity again. Thanking God for entrusting me with such an honorable job. <laughs> and giving me such a great opportunity to know so many, many beautiful, colorful people. And thank God for you, because you're so good, so good, so good. Maybe you don't know how good you are, or maybe you do. You do? <laughs> yeah, huh? you know. Huh? <laughs> Everyone was so willing in his heart and so happy to offer 
the service in different ways. That's why our retreat always, always went smoothly. Sometimes you go out, it's a group of 20 people, and sometimes incidents, you know, happen, and you are not in accord with each other. But we always have thousands of people, and it's just like one. Most all the time, and we enjoy so much. You do enjoy, right? Yes. 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 Look like. <laughs> That is because we are looking in the right direction. Love is looking in the same direction, and we both, we are looking in the same direction. And that's why we are so good, we are so good with each other, and we are so united, so we can do many, many things. Of course there is nothing like, okay, like uh, drinking water so smooth like that, but of course we manage, huh? Everything you make it smooth because of your faith, because of your inner, highly developed spirituality, because of your direct connection with your true Self. Yes. As said before, I am very proud to be the sister of your brother. <laughs> And I'm so happy, happy. You made me so happy. I mean, I'm already happy myself, but when I'm with you, I'm extra happy. Yes. I don't know if heaven could be better than us. If heaven is as good as this, it's fine already. It's fine for me. Yes, really, it's fine, huh? Yes. We could make heaven on earth all the time. People really don't know that. Yes, really, heaven is here any time, any time we want. And we could be in heaven all the time, all the time, or at least periodically like this, yeah? Once a year, twice a year. I mean, collective heaven. <laughs> crowded heaven. <laughs> and at home we have smaller heaven or individual heaven, yes. At least, even if we still have uh, trouble in this world because of the give and take and the, the responsibility or because of the difficult road that we have chosen before we came here to walk, even then uh, we are still less stressed out like before we know the Quanning method, yes. I'm so happy for you that you're so sincere, so devoted and so pure in your heart. Even those who just came and did not practice too long, you're so sincere, so sincere with yourself, so sincere with others and trying your best always in every way to help yourself and to help the planet. I don't know if I could have any more honor than this to know such such a great congregation congregation of Buddhas, of saints. I do respect you so much, apart from I love you so much. I have so much respect for you, so much uh, adoration, so much impressed by you. I'm so impressed, so impressed all the time, any time, even in my dream, I think of you and such a good people. It's getting better and better every time and every retreat. Isn't that true? Yes, you feel? <coughs> you see, so not only we are better, the whole population became better, the whole planetary atmosphere became better. It really works, huh? It really works. <laughs> Thank God.
please do not forget to thank God Almighty, to thank all the masters of the past and the present who have sacrificed so much, who have loved us so much since the beginning of time and have blessed us immensely, continuously, so that we always can uh, walk peacefully and courageously in whichever way we have chosen for ourselves. Blessed be all these noble beings, here and in other worlds. We will always be grateful in our heart. Please remember, the more we are grateful, the more we will be blessed. The more we remember the loving kindness, the more we will be endowed also with loving kindness. The more we are uh, uh, thankful, thankful of the peace they have bestowed upon this planet and upon our path, the more peace we will realize, the more blessing, the more bliss. Everything better, better will come in our way, even in this physical planet, even in this difficult situation of the globe. We will always walk in peace and protection, and we will know that, we will feel that, we defi definitely realize that every minute of our day. And that's what I do. I complain sometimes, but it's just for fun. <laughs> Wow, I'm on time. Eleven o'clock, boom! <laughs> All right, loving. Maybe we see each other again another time. Hmm? Okay, I have one question before we leave. What do you want to do for year 2000? I mean, everybody talk about year 2000. We also have to do something. <laughs> or else we left out and <laughs> they'll think we are, we are weird. Huh? Want to be with you where? Anywhere. Here? <laughs> Here already, don't be greedy. <laughs> South America? Retreat. Mm. Another retreat? You still have money and time and energy? Okay, why not? I will think about it. Where? <laughs> And you will all come on this at least? Okay. But let me see. I, I will ask the guy where he wants us to be. That's the best, right? Yeah. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, don't, don't make tug of war between your countries, okay? <laughs> I know you guys. Each one come home and just sit in your center and pray, Master, come here. <laughs> Just pray for a retreat and don't pray where, okay, please? <laughs> Otherwise, uh, I will cut my limb here and then a leg over there and then you have nothing. Okay, so let's go have dinner and then uh, pack and then uh, go back to your sweet home. Okay, remember, bring your love with you. Give to your families, your friends, your country. Okay, guys? Chai là đi về mình giỏi. Au revoir. Au revoir. Adios. I will say it in Thai, in African. Slalagashe. Hambagashe. Okay. Go well. Farewell. Right, kids? <laughs> Love you very much. You're the best. You're the best of God's creation. You're the best. You're the best, okay? Love you and see you somewhere, okay? I think about it. <laughs>
All right, I meditate on it. Few days, okay? One, two days.